Good evening. Leading the news tonight, it was happening, then it wasn't, and now it is again. That's the word on the proposed mall development. Amtex, who also owns Northland Shopping Centre in Christchurch, will go ahead with plans to build the new complex, and the first stage should be underway early next year. A council meeting next week will determine details of the second stage of development, but stage one will go ahead with or without council consent. Sean Summerfield reports. It'll be great for shoppers and retailers. I think they should go ahead with that. Excellent idea. Great. We need progress in the Macagall. Of course, it would be a good idea, yeah, of course it would. I'd sooner have it down south in Macagall. Yeah, it'd be fine. Despite the lack of progress last time, Council are prepared to get behind this attempt. Well, the City Council really has to start looking at um, its role in terms of the car parking, its uh, uh, role in terms of the catalyst for the whole development for the City. We're really trying to work out exactly um, what part we should play from a budgetary point of view, how much money we should put in. And Amtex aren't the only people with plans for the City. This is one proposal, there are a number of proposals that are on the table, uh, so things are looking pretty exciting. Car parking was one of the biggest hurdles last time, now the council seems ready to negotiate. Uh, in this particular issue, the car parking is the major issue. Um, do we need more car parks in that area, strategically? Uh, who's going to pay for those? Is there a joint venture? Whatever the outcome this time, Invercargill shoppers are ready for a change. Well, I think anything that's, that's uh, going to be an improvement to the, to the city is, is acceptable, and isn't it, really? I think it's pretty important, yeah. It needs to be done something because it's, you know, town looks pretty grabby in that. It'll be quite a good idea, actually. It needs it. More details on the mall should come to light after Council meets next week. This is Sean Summerfield for Mercury News.